Hello everybody, welcome back to part 21 of Let's Play Realms of the Haunting. Someone was saying when I first started this that this would be a bit of a lifelong journey. It's starting to turn out that way. So, um, yeah. Some more shells in this upstairs boat, and also a dead end. But that's okay. So, Tordin26 and I were having a little conversation about the origins of the game engine used for Roth. Um, I think he thought that it was it used the build engine. Now, there's that dice he was talking about, I think. So yeah, I don't recall it being used for anything either. So anyway, the house is in a big loop, and um, me and him were talking about how, because um, he thought it was made on the build engine, which is the same one that Duke Nukem used, but I thought it was made on its own proprietary technology, just because of um, all the, like, like so, there's so much more interaction that's inside it. Ah, the dead gate. The gate's dysfunctional, Adam. We're getting nowhere here. Dysfunctional? Like the Simpsons. There's something wrong here. There's a trail into the tower, though the connection's broken. Remember what Raphael said about the iron? Maybe it's got something to do with that. Maybe all the dead rats just skankied it up. You hear that crunching sound? Ugh. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, that's enough of that. So, um, one thing I thought was strange is that um, there are no sloped uh, places in the game. There are some areas later on, which should be coming up pretty soon actually, that are take place outside, but um, there's no slope. It's all it's all like straight walls and and stuff. But um, the 3D parts, like like these chairs and the table, see they're they're actually 3D objects. Um, whereas in Doom, um, and also you know the stuff from the build engine, it's actually only 2.5D. Now some guys are going to come out and attack me very soon. Yeah. Oh, he's climbing up on the table. Yeah, some shells. Funny business from you, old son. Anyway. Um Yeah, I thought that was quite odd. Because I'm pretty sh I, I still think that this is a true 3D engine. Because in the in the uh, making of video that's on the fourth disc and that, that I also posted um, pretty early on in this playthrough, the guys talk about designing the levels in 3ds Max, and they actually use the actual levels. If you look really closely, their better light, their um, the lighting in it is better, but in the videos they actually use the real levels they're not like other levels that they've made up that probably leads to uh, one of the areas ah the courtyard or well, the second courtyard rather oh let's switch around here 
Alright, this is where we pick up, I think, the second last weapon that you actually get. There's a guy through here, though. Is he? Another one? Nope. X. Alright, a whole bunch of those uh, pistol guys appear here after you pick it up. I know I'm a bit all over the place with what I'm trying to talk about. Because I think the conversation started with how um, he thought it was weird. What's that smell? How there were uh, places where the monsters couldn't go. And um, I was saying I wasn't sure if that was uh, a design thing or um, <laughs> part of, you know, some kind of limitation that the engine just had. Because in both Doom and uh, the build engine, it's um, sort of part of, sort of both. It's part of design. In that, um, here we go, the flintlock. It's partly designed in that, um, you know, if the monsters can go anywhere, they'd eventually mob you. But also, partly, um, like a limitation of the engine, because if they could go anywhere, not only would they mob you, but they'd also slow it down quite a lot. Especially back then. Oh, it's two right in here. Alright, let's pull out the shoddy. <laughs> See how they got like... Like one hand's all like rotten and stuff? <laughs> yeah. There's a whole bunch of them outside as well. Or, rather, or at least there will be. And since there's no reason for me to come back here... I'm just gonna let them wander around out there. I don't think they can hurt me. Oh, so this is the other way to the courtroom, I think. Courtroom? <sighs> and it's courtyard. Oh! Anyway. Library. I have to say, I like this bit. Yeah, let's go down here first. Probably got something to do with the destruction of this gate. Yes, so that, ladies and gentlemen, was the ire. Destroyers. Tower gate. Magical stalkers. like the library will have to wait until next episode as we've only got about 10 seconds anyway uh, please join me next time for part 22 of this playthrough please rate and comment my videos I will see you next time